Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at this Ansel FX3000 Diagnostic Scan Tool. And I want to thank the folks at Ansel for sending me this tool to do a review on. If you're interested, I'll post a link below to where you can get this tool. Let's do some testing and see what this tool can do. So let's get started. Use primer right here. I got some it's of this one. 5W30. Oh, it's it's minus like 45. It's good for storage. It's there for cleaning. Out of body. Up. Air intake. Okay, before we hook this up to a vehicle, let's just take a quick look at this tool. It comes in a box like this. You get your user's manual. Get a quick start guide. And here's the tool. It comes with this plastic over the screen. Got a nice size screen. And I'm going to put on the screen right now some of the things this tool can do. But uh, you got right here a memory slot. Uh, this is for... If you want to hook it up to your computer, USB port, that's right here. You can hook it up to your computer there, you can hook it there. This goes to your OBD2, you hook it up here, and then it goes to your car or truck. Okay, and over here we got your memory card. Mem the memory card is one method used to update your scan tool. It goes right here, putting this card in here, then just put it into your computer's USB port. So that's pretty cool. I give you that. Yeah, so it's a pretty nice looking tool. It's pretty good size. Rugged. This looks like a nice hard plastic where if you dropped it, it wouldn't just fall apart. So let's go hook this up to a vehicle and see what this scan tool can do. Okay, so when you plug your scan tool into the OBD2 port, you're going to end up with a screen like this. And let's check this out. Okay, so we'll go to help. We got DLC location. Here's your little diagram of where the OBD2 port is. You can look up uh, abbreviations. So when the scan tool, you know, says something like ECT or FRP, you'll know what it is. You know, you will look it up. Gives you an explanation of what it is. Same thing with MAP. So that's a pretty cool feature. If you want to ever get it upgraded, go right here. It gives you the website, anseltech.com. And I suggest if you're going to upgrade this tool, use the uh, USB port instead of just using the memory card. Okay, let's go to settings. Got language, I got it set already, English. unit of measurement you got metric imperial I got it set for imperial beeper shut this beeper off and you can record you can record actually everything I got it on off okay let's go to diagnose All right, we'll start with the OBD2. You read codes, erase codes. IMS ready, data stream. Let's try the data stream. View all items. Got 37 monitors here going on. You got your timing, fuel trim, bank one, 1.6 percent, intake air. Quite a bit of information. Throttle position sensor, catalyst temperature, voltage. Yeah, so sometimes if you got a code, you might be able to look it up here and see what's what's going on. All right, let's go back. They also got graphs. So you can pick like four four items here, put on a graph.
It's pretty cool. Give it a little gas here. A little throttle. Yeah, that's cool. Try the O2 sensor. Let's see. If get back here. O2 sensor test. Try this one. Does not support that one. Okay. I think it does this one. There it goes. Pass. Tells you the test value. Yeah, pass. About scan. Alright. Got a lot of cars here. I think like 57. Different vehicles. This one's a 2011 Nissan. Yeah, you know, Max. That comes up. Okay, engine. Read faults. Read current data. Main signals. Gives you all kinds of information here. Also, 17 monitors going. It's ECU. Yeah, there's a lot of information here. We can't go over it all, but it gives you a lot of stuff. signals get your ABS okay so that's a lot uh, a lot of stuff here too, 21 things. That'll be off because we're not we're not moving, so and here's some special features. Reset ABS, reset battery, reset brake. You set steering angle, and some of this stuff's only going to work for certain cars, you know, especially newer cars. Reset your oil. Let's try setting the re-oil. Switch ignition on. It's on. Manual reset. This functional is manual. Manual reset mode. Okay, so it doesn't do it on this vehicle. How about the battery? Let's try this, see what happens. Battery saver set. Okay, it's got a lot of stuff here. Okay, so my favorite thing is probably the live data. I like to look at the live data.
Yeah, I like looking at all this stuff. The fuel trim, coolant temperature, make sure the thermostat's working good. Timing. This thermostat, I don't know what's in here, but it says 199, 200. Must be a 200, 200 degree thermostat. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, so it's actually, it's not a bad tool. It's got a lot of, a lot of features on it. And um, I only went over some of them, but yeah, like I said earlier, I'll put a link, link to where you can get this scan tool. It'll be down below. I'll also put a money saving coupon code down below. So I think I'll wrap this video up. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and take care.